Well, Georgia, back from lockdown two with a, an emphatic victory and a bit of a goal fest. Yeah, I think you could tell that everybody was like so happy to be back and we just started off so well. I think it took us maybe a few minutes to get into our stride, but we were really like connecting and, and making the combinations you know, close to goal. And we just seemed to be on fire today. Everybody was finding the back of the net, so that was great. I guess we've got to credit Harlow in some way because they were 4-0 down after 17 minutes, but showed great character to come back into the game and, and bring it back to 4-2. Yeah, they definitely didn't drop their heads. Um, and once they got that second goal, you could, you know, they were definitely on the pitch, like ge jeering each other up, saying like, you know, let's, let's bring this back. So we needed to just refocus. And, um, you know, there was no stressing from us, but... Um, you know, it was for a second there. We, we needed to make sure that we scored We scored the next goal. A bit of disappointment to concede the two goals in the manner that they happened? Yeah, definitely. Like, you know, we'll take responsibilities for those goals and, and we'll learn for that. But, you know, our standards are, are higher than that. But, you know, things like that happen and we need to make sure that we stay together as a team and move on. A great day for you personally today. Your first hat-trick for Ipswich Town. How does that feel? Yeah, it was really great. You know, and our supporters were right there by the goal. So, you know, it's really great to see anybody score. Um, I really enjoyed this game and I'm so happy to be back. I'm, I'm sure as a... As a a midfielder that likes to arrive late and get in the box set on, on the end of crosses, you must be delighted with the service you got today because they put them on a plate for you. Yeah, that's exactly it. Our wingers make my job easy. So, you know, I know that they're definitely going to get the crosses in. So I just need to be in the right place at the right time. Second half is a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde kind of game, wasn't it? Second half was very quiet, just a one goal in the second half. But um, we, we still controlled the ball well and, and, and lucky to get the goal in the end. Yeah, definitely. I think sometimes we can get in our own heads, especially if the goal line is, is a bit bigger. So what we need to do is go back to basics and really just control the ball a bit more. So, um, you know, it was good. We saw out the game, um, you know, no injuries, nothing, nothing major. So uh, we're really happy with that. Finally into the second round proper now where the tier three teams come into it. And that's when uh, where things start to ramp up a little bit. Yeah, we're really excited to play, you know, possibly a team, you know, that's higher up than us and, and prove our worth. So I know that all the girls are excited for the next round.